the straw man. Straw man to stand up for. What is this? God, this is moving. Is there a way to make this go slower? For fucking Norm. Is there? I, I bet this is. I bet Norm makes way more than Donnie. See, this is what happens when you talk money. Lean in. Lean into the chat. Here we go. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Mike's perspective is that the ticket doesn't proportionally pay its talent. So, yeah, to address that, what do you think of that? I think you guys deserve uh, 90, 95% and more than that. And we, the underling shitbirds, deserve probably 25, 30% more than whatever the fuck we're making. Hmm. Because the ticket, as you described, is set up in a way that some people provide more than their cumulus job, fucking whatever the... the uh, you know, okay, wait. So I need to make this clear because I feel like I have not explained what I'm talking about. This is I'm obfuscating. So tell me what you think that I've said, Mike, since I'm communicating with you and, and maybe I haven't been clear. I guess I don't understand the question. What's that? My bottom line is it just feels like this. This feels just like a lot of emotion. Literally are the ticket. Okay. But people are, are, but people in here are mad at me. Working pretty hard. People, that, people in our chat are, on this. That it can't, are upset. I've done something wrong and I'm trying to figure out what this is here. No, they're fine. They're going to follow you. They're going to subscribe. No, but here it says I'm being an ass. No, don't read them. No, these are people who came here because they like us too. And, uh, I mean, there's some positive ones here, but then, then there's these people who are really somehow I've done something here. No, or not you've done, done something. Nothing. You've done nothing. No, I wanted a chance to correct it. I mean, I'm I'm willing to listen to what people have to say to figure out how I've uh, made them upset. I mean, my take is I want the people who work at the ticket to be happy, and I want them to feel like they are getting what they deserve. But I'm also in the position of I feel uncomfortable getting in people's getting between them and their employer. Does that make any sense? Yes, but that is the structure that allows good people to get fucking paid dick shit right. for their entire lives. That is what it is. And it's when the people who have a very loud voice don't care or don't say shit because they're being well taken care of, which they should in your case. Right. They don't say shit. Mm -hmm. So if you don't create value for Jeremy Moran, then Jeremy Moran doesn't have value. And he just stews in his, you know, income level, which is fucking embarrassing. Okay. So, but, but if the powerful people who were are worthy of the money and make a shitload of money, which is, please don't take any thought that you don't, I don't think you do. You guys run this shit, but there are people who work pretty fucking hard and show up pretty fucking early every single day and stay two hours later than you. They're getting fucked. And if somebody stood up for them and said, hey, this is a valuable person. Okay, that, but listen, Mike, I care Mike, about? Mike, I'm just saying that Jeremy has never come to me and said that he's getting fucked. Okay, well, I'm doing it for him. Okay, so and... But maybe we can talk off the air because I don't know that he wants a salary on the air. So you're saying that you know what he makes and he feels like he is not making enough. And so you're standing up for him. But it seems like, I mean, it's, this is putting me in a strange situation where I'm like, I don't know any of this stuff. You're coming to me and saying, this is a huge problem. And Gordon, why haven't you done anything about it? And I was like, I didn't know it was my that no, I that I I'm not, that there was a problem. Uh, only it's you and I on this stream, and we're having a chat. No, I mean we got uh, so a few fine. people, yes, and I'm and I obviously guy. I'm not pinning it all on you. Gordon needs to stop humoring this s. Well, I don't think it's s. I mean, I think you're bringing up, you know, 
But have you ever spent a day thinking about, hey, the people under me, how are they doing? Are they okay? Are they are they happy? Are they do they have a you know a, a fair wage for their contributions to you know what we provide? I hope and have you spent that time? Have you ever looked in the mirror and said, hey, Okay. All right. Only- you sound you sound like you're angry at me and so we're just we'll we'll oh, I do. we'll move on. We'll see if we can get some uh, other questions here. Because I think we've given this enough time. You've had your say and I'm obviously unable to express my feelings of this. I love Jeremy. I love Mike. I love our team. I love George and I love Craig. And I don't know what uh, any of those guys make. I have an idea of George and Craig just because we are together. Um, And they've never asked me. They've never expressed discomfort with what they've made. They never said the ticket is screwing me over. Um, they've never done any of that, Mike. No, I, so, I, I so, 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 I, I mean, but, but you're putting me in a situation here to where Gordon answer these charges, answer them now. Well, do you ever look in the mirror ask and me, ask yourself, right. do you even care about another human being? I mean, that seems a little unfair to me. Come on, Mike. I'm, I, I don't mean, I mean to you can, go ahead. put it on you, and I don't. But again, it's you and I talking right now, and I'm out the door. So, yes, I, I, I'm going to present these questions. And yes, it may be a little gratuitous to say, have you asked this? Have you, have you, have you ever looked this? in the mirror and said no. to yourself, do you okay. care about people you work with? Okay, that's fair. And I don't mean to... I don't mean to imply that that's your responsibility but but I what say look i will say look around and there's people who are all right so let's see what else we got scraping it together and uh okay i feel like provide a good amount of uh support for what you do okay let's see what else we got maybe we have somebody who's has something else to say um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm still talking about Jeremy. Maybe I need to get Jeremy on here <laughs> instead of you him. talking about how his situation. He can talk about it. Um, oh, I need to get past all this At stuff. At a minimum, this is fun. Like, is it? Is okay. Like that, right? No. I it's mean, great fun. All right. People are engaged and interested, right? Uh, yeah, but, you know... Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, let's see what else we got. What are you doing? What? What? This is moving way too fast. This is why we need a moderator, you know? Yeah. Damn it, Huey. Uh, people asking what happened to the fate of man. <laughs> what happened to that thing? Did you ever get that back? No. I hope, I hope soon. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here, you can keep talking while I go through and try to find us something here. I'll do a live spot here for. How are you guys uh, doing? Twitch. Did you kill Barry TV Bunch? Can we get another tour of Dallas from Gordon? Um, let's play some marbles. <laughs> These shows going down. Uh, do a liner for the musers. What are your plans for your Twitch stream? We kind of already talked about that. There's really no plans. It was just to get on here and have some fun. That's the plan. Question, Gordon. Yeah, Let's, sure. Uh, don't look at the chat anymore. Why? And I'm drunk, and I probably should be done on this. No, I mean. But I did this yesterday, right? So it's a feel good show. Was day, yesterday was the day I quit the ticket. Yeah. And it was. It, it was hard it was tricky Mm -hmm. and i took i it was at night and i took a shower and i got out of the shower and i stood in front of my bathroom mirror fully nude Mm -hmm. and i had my hands on my hips and i said i was just staring at myself and then i got to thinking it's probably a good idea that once a year that every man or woman stand there 
and give yourself a good 15 minutes of just staring at your nude self in the mirror and taking a deep breath and reassessing your existence. And I did that yesterday. Mm -hmm. And it was actually shockingly emotional. But <laughs> that's my advice to everyone watching is that stand in front of your bathroom mirror by yourself and look at yourself for 15 yourself. minutes yes huh. and look yourself in the eye and generally it's reserved for when i'm on mushrooms where you lean into the mirror and like look at yourself but i don't think we do it enough yes you look at yourself and you're like hey how do i look how's this outfit mm -hmm. but i think take a fucking deep breath and in the nude helps and look at yourself and take as much time as you can and just really reassess where you're at in life. Uh huh. I, I found it fascinating and I found it actually quite therapeutic. And what'd you learn? Like, what'd you, what were some of your I insights? I, I, you know what? Here you go. I'm an emotional guy and I had a cry. I was listening to a song that was impactful to me. But I, I think that's a level of, of, uh, introspection that I don't think not that they're not capable of, but most people don't do. And I took a moment and I looked at myself in the nude. I, the nude part was coincidental and just deep breaths and look at yourself and reassess where you're at in your life. And for me on the day that I left my favorite fucking thing in the world, which is the ticket, it was pretty fucking profound. Mm-hmm. That's my whole uh, statement. Well, that's interesting advice. I've never have you ever done that. Looked at myself nude in the mirror. Well, you're not staring at your dong, your gigantic dong. Like that's not the point. Uh -huh. It's not about. But it's more just take a moment and actually reassess where you stand in life, and like this is a huge chapter changing in my life. Yeah. I'm scared. But it's but exciting too, isn't being it? Being nude actually like helps it because like this is me like this is the real f me right yeah but you haven't done that you guys are all too cool to do that shit but we're too cool to look in the mirror at ourselves oh nice try what in the nude in the nude Stay yeah yourself and actually reassess your position and you're talking about beyond physically you're talking about thinking about your life and where you are in life yes. and yeah, yeah, but physically is part of it. But mm -hmm. It's more about, I don't know, reassessing yourself and actually like taking a look at yourself in a fucking mirror. Uh, you know, if you don't get it, you don't get it. And that's fine. No, but no. I think it is a, I think it's a great exercise to do that. It's interesting. What's that? That doesn't feel genuine. No, I think it's a great exercise to look at yourself in the mirror and look at your own body, appreciate yourself. Yes, but it's the physical part is not. But as far as assessing yourself, uh, where you are in life, you're saying that there's an yes. added yes. element when you're naked in front I of. I had a, a moment yesterday where I, I did that. Yeah, and it felt pretty fucking good. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else? We have four more minutes. I'm right back to the chat. Yeah, we got four more minutes here. I was just trying to see if anybody else wanted to uh, chime in. I was trying to make this a little interactive. Let's see if we can grab a couple questions. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you see anything in the chat that you wanted to comment on? Somebody asking if we wanted no, Pringles so. cans. I'm in enough trouble. <laughs> Well, you're not in any trouble. I mean, you've you've left the station, so I have. And but if we don't have a chance to do it before you cut me off and we're done, which mm -hmm. I would not blame you, I have not like. So I knew I was leaving, and I had a meeting with Cat, and Cat was like, "All right, hey, this is how we have to handle this." And I was already like fucking on edge because I'm like. How the fuck? You don't tell me how I'm going to handle this. But then I was like, well, who the fuck am I to think I, uh, I have some things to say? That's not the point. The point is the ticket is fucking amazing. And I'm honored 
and so lucky to have had the little mini fucking run that I have. Um, and I'm just lucky to have been there for as long as I have. And I'm now moving on and it's all good. But to say that if you're somewhere and then you're like, oh, now these are my complaints and I want to yell at you about money and I'm fucking embarrassed. I'm sorry I even did that. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, the ticket's been nothing but incredible to me and given me like some life and existence that I'd never had otherwise and I'll never have again. And I'm nothing but appreciative. So, yeah, um, I'm sorry that sometimes it manifests itself in like, oh, this, these are my fucking gripes of the night. But they're just gripes of the night. They're not real. The truth is the ticket is fucking incredible and I'm I'm lucky to have been a part of it for as long as I have and that kind of well thanks for coming on tonight spending your Saturday with me it's eventful right huh I was it was I'm glad we did it I'm glad we what are you most mad at me for are we good we're fine everything is fine Mike I'm about to go look at myself in the mirror while naked dude the biggest bush the biggest bush you got the biggest bush? No, I bet you are so unmaintained. I'm sorry, but you are. It's unmaintained. It's huge. Oh, all right. Say yes or no. Well, we'll see. No, I actually am a fan of the manscaping, but... No, you're not. Okay. All right. How's Christina? Don't make, don't make it an awkward departure. I'm not. I'm saying I'm thanking you and saying I'm about to go look in the mirror. You think I did bad? I'm sorry. You're fine, Mike. No, I feel like this is bad. No, you gave a very nice speech there, a sweet wrap up. I, I liked it. I thought it was good. Are you happy with tonight's content on your Twitch stream? Yeah, I need to see. I, I'd love to be able. I can go back and read these chats, right? Uh, like I can go back and read the whole chat, can't I? I don't know enough about this to know. I gotta go before I get in trouble. You're gonna get in trouble at home? No, not at home, but just. I feel like I've said what I have to say. So, hey. Well, Jeremy. Jeremy's awesome. Norman Donovan are awesome. Gordon. T uh, like, with all the <laughs> shit we've talked about, uh -huh. you probably won't believe me, but you're literally my hero. I think you're the funniest motherfucker on the planet. And I am uh, I'm sorry that if we went sideways a couple times, but all good. It's all good. That's a great final statement. It's all good. Well, thank you, Mike. Yeah, man. Thanks for being here, and thanks for the P1s, and hopefully I can go back and read the chat and see what everybody had to say. And hopefully everybody else had a good time, too. Who knows? It's so fun. All right, next Saturday, you going to tune into that one? Who you got? Who you fucking got? I think I, I'm... Joe Lecce? No, no, I think I'm just by myself next Saturday. It's going to be... Huh? No, I don't know. Yeah, it probably won't be good, but at least I'll try yeah, it. I, I mean, I can try it. We didn't have any pictures. Anything else was reacted. No, we didn't have it this time. Um, maybe next time. Loaded with content. All righty, all right. Mike. I love you, buddy. Okay, see you later. Take care. Thanks to all the P1s who uh, hopped on the chat and who were over in the Discord. And uh, hopefully... Everybody